Who's here and who's not here? Dalen, yes. Takaya, yes. Marquise, yes. Jeremiah, yes. Who's here for, um, for me? Landon, London, we have Sienna. That's, that's it. All right, make sure your do now is in the middle. But it's too late for whatever that is. Uh, please put those back where I told you guys to put them when you're done with those. Uh, make sure your notes are open. In the metal, metal, metal. On the right, metal on my desk. Metal. Nope, that's a that's called a computer. See the one with papers in it already? There you go. Ah, uh, take the sheet. Put it on top of my clipboard. On top of my clipboard. On top of the Chrome cards. You know what they say? You can lead a horse to water, but they, I don't think that even applies to this. But thank you for your patience. Uh, for those who are online, make sure you're paying attention. If you have a question, raise your hand. Check the chat for any announcements. Antoine, do you not have a piece of paper? Alrighty then. Reese, can you please grab him a piece of paper and that will be a deduction. You need to be ready for class. This is not okay to say I'm not ready for class. Especially when this is week four of being back. Um, it's right there in Black Ben. Not that Black Ben, that Black Ben. Not that paper, regular paper. And today, we are going to be talking about multiplying mixed numbers. We know what a mixed number is. We know how to multiply fractions. No, honey. See the The sheets. First day of the Instead of having two plus four, we have one. Uh, multiply mixed numbers, uh, or I can't say it for days. I can multiply mixed numbers. Class, say that with me. Uh, I can multiply, multiply mixed numbers. numbers. Because we know what mixed numbers are. We know how to multiply. So let's see what we need to do special for today. There are two examples for today, so make sure you're playing, paying close attention. It says a length of fabric was cut into four equal section, sections. Each of the four students received two thirds of the fabric. How much fa fabric, fabric was there before it was cut? So we're gonna start setting up a proportion. So first things first, I need you to copy down this equation in your notes. Because this is an equal groups problem. We have a group of, a group that is eight and two uh, eight thirds times four because we have four students. Where does the eight third come from? Where in the world does the eight third come from? Because like when I read this problem, I see four, four, two and two thirds. Where does eight thirds come from? Kingston. Um. Two and two thirds. Okay, so now what is it called when the numerator is larger than the denominator? Kamari? Yes, perfect. You, listen to me. You might want to write this in your notes. You cannot multiply mixed numbers. 
you have to change them to an improper fraction. You have to. Circle the word have to like five times because you have to change the mixed number into an improper fraction to multiply. Where's your pencil? Great, because I said write this down in your notes, right? You will be great on your notes. So I don't know why some people are slacking on it. Right, you have to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. Otherwise, you can't multiply. No matter how hard you try, it's like running into a wall. You want to go past the wall, but you keep running into the wall because I don't know why. But you have to change it to an improper fraction. And then you multiply fractions, the fractions, like normal. How do you multiply fractions? Reese? Sorry, what? Okay, but how like normal? Because it's not normal, normal, but there is a normal for this. Destiny? Not cross. Asia? Right, when you multiply fractions, normal fractions like this, it's the numerator times the numerator, denominator times the denominator, top by top. So I'm going to rewrite this. Eight. Thirds times four over one. You multiply this way. Class, what is eight times four? What's eight times four? Eight times four? There you go. More confidence. Uh, class, three times one? Three. Now, you have an improper fraction here, and we're multiplying mixed numbers. So we want to have a mixed number as our answer. How will we change that improper fraction into a mixed number? Reese? Going to divide. You divide. So you're going to take this, put 32 in the house, and divide it by 3. And I'm going to have you write this down in your notes. Make sure that you remember how to do this. When you write a mixed number, you need a whole number, numerator, denominator, all right, and the numerator, the numerator equals the remainder. All right, that's very important. Now, uh, how many times the strong style hand? How many times? How many groups of three are in three? London. Perfect. Three minus three, zero. Drop down the two. How many groups of three are in two? Destiny. Correct. We have zero. Okay, so now we have a remainder of two. What becomes over here? What becomes our numerator? You remember what I just wrote up here? Numerator equals remainder. Kingston? Two. It will be two. What would the denominator be? Kamari? Two. Sorry? Two. Two. Nah. That's our whole number. Jonathan? It'll be three. Uh, the denominator does not change. Receive. If you don't have a remainder, then you will have just a whole number. So So let's say if uh, you had 24 over 2, you take 24 divided by 2, you get in there what, once, 2, subtract, 0, drop down the 4, 2, you have no remainder, 
So you just have 12, all right? So you only make it into a mixed number if it has a remainder. Think so? A fraction by a. Ooh, let's see. I'm pretty sure your next problem will be about just that. Okay. Actually, they're both going to be improper fractions. A answer that normal. But you're going to have to change it into a mixed number afterwards. Jonathan? You divide. That's why we do this, Jonathan. This is not just for fun. This is your proof. This is your evidence. So, Jonathan, you find the remainder by actually dividing. You actually got to do the work. Because you could stop at 10 and just be like, done. But then you get it wrong. Then you get it back. Then you should correct it. But when you show your work, you go all the way through it. You find that there is a remainder. There's your numerator. Does that answer your question, Jonathan? All right, multiply two and a half plus, all right, multiply two and a half by one and one third. What do we have to do to both of these fractions? Asia, if these, both of these mixed numbers, what do we have to do with them? Right, perfect. And that's called a improper fraction. Honey, I'm going to give you a payment later on because that is perfect. Do you remember the formula? Do you remember the formula that is whole number times the denominator? Uh, why did I write two? Whole number times the denominator plus numerator. That's how you find an improper fraction. So let's do that. What's two times two class? Two, two times two class? Four. Plus one? Five. Plus one? Five. You put it over the denominator times class. What's one times three? Three. Plus one? Four. Put it over three? Alrighty then. Um, we multiply like normal. Class five times four. Five times four. Class two times three. Two times three. Six. Alrighty then. There's two things we can do for this one. We can reduce right away, or we can change it to a mixed number and then reduce. What do you want to do? First person to raise their hand silently. Mari? Um, you want to reduce it first? Awesome. Okay. What can you reduce 20 over 6 by? Naraya? Two. Why does Naraya say 2? How does she know it's 2? Where are they both? McKenna? What? I can't hear you, honey. They're now prime numbers. You guys got you got one six two three. You got one twenty four five two ten. They're not prime numbers. But what are they? London. They're even numbers, which means they can always be divided by two. Your new fraction will be. Let's see. Antoine, 20 divided by 2? 10. Let's see. William, 6 divided by 2? 3. All right, we can't reduce any more because 10 can't be divided by 3, and 3 can't be divided by 10 because they're both. Well, 3 is a prime number. Now we got to change that to a mixed number. How do we do that? Kingston? Correct. We take 10 divided by 3. 3 can't go into 1. How many times can 3 go into 10? How many groups of 3 are there in 10? How many groups of 3 are there in 10? 
How many groups of three are there in 10? Destiny? Three. There you go. Boys and girls, you're wearing masks, and you're all kind of natural, quiet people. <coughs> so please speak up. I'm also 65 years old. I can't hear that well anymore. All right, 10 minus 9 is 1. So now we have these three pieces. We got three, a three, and a one. What will our mixed number look like? London? Exactly correct. Three and one third. Because you got to remember the three steps to... Oh, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. If you look on your, if you go, if you go to lesson 66, new concepts, it has it right there for you, but it's got the three steps. First, you got to rename. You got to reshape. You have, 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 you have these two mixed numbers. You have to rename them, rephrase them, re rephrase them. Rephrase them. Rephrase them. Being really tired of people looking in other directions. Hands off your head. You got to rename them. Then you do the operation. So multiply. Then you have to simplify. So technically all this stuff over here is just one big step called simplify. All right. Any questions? Your exit ticket will have, I think, four problems, four or five problems exactly like this. No deviations. Follow the steps. Right now, when you raise the pencil above your head, that's saying you are good to go. I did.